Friday, December 29th, 7 p.m., right down the street from us here in Arlington, Texas. We've got the Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. It's Missouri at 10 and 2 against Ohio State at 11 and 1. The Buckeyes currently three and a half point favorites as we sit here a day before the game. There's a lot of potential, potential and actual opt outs in this one. I'll get kind of hit the highlights for this one right here. Missouri really has kept everyone mostly intact. All of their key players will should be playing in this one. But for Ohio State, they, of course, famously lost Kyle McCord in the transfer portal. It looks like Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to be opting out. Michael Hall, the defensive tackle, is going to be opted out as well. And, you know, Devin Brown, it's his time to shine and show what he can do in this offense. So, guys, as you look into the storylines here, of course, Missouri could win 11 games for the first time in 10 years. They have their top trio, especially uh, their star running back. Uh, Cody Schrader is going to get his last game as a college player. This should be a fun one. I think there should be a lot of points scored. Where are we leaning in the actual result? I, I think I'm going Missouri, but very tentatively, right? Ohio State's offense could be opted out, but Missouri, on the other hand, is going to be missing two key players. Uh, Ennis Rakestraw, their best corner um, has said that he will not play in the bowl game. He's going to focus on the draft. He's, uh, I think, a day two guy. Um, as of right now, I, I know um, some of the draft guys were, were tweeting about him earlier. And then Tyron Hopper, who's one of their in, uh, starting linebackers, he's injured, so he'll miss this game as well. Other than that, though, like you said, the Tigers are pretty healthy, pretty complete on both sides of the ball. Um, I, I just worry about too much inconsistency for Ohio State. It's not like that offense was electric beforehand outside of Marvin Harrison Jr. He hasn't officially opted out, but the last report we had, he wasn't practicing. So, I mean, you know, you do that math in your head. I'm, I'd be shocked if he suits up um, for the Cotton Bowl. So, I just think in, in a situation like this, when you have so many opt-outs on one side and not very many on the other, I think you got to go with the more complete roster. And, hey, Missouri wants this, right? Ohio State, this is maybe not the the bowl game that they were hoping to be playing in. Missouri will absolutely take an 11-win season. Yeah, I think you're pretty much onto that, Mitch. It's Missouri being motivated. It's Missouri actually wanting to play this game and win this game. It's Missouri having their whole roster. Ohio State's the better team when they show up. But, you know, I'll, I'll go with a little bit of a sort of foreshadowing thing. Their social media account said that they showed up for a big match in the desert. Um, I, I don't know where Ohio State went, but if their team's, you know, social media is any indication, they will not be showing up to the Cotton Bowl. Um, and I think that's kind of a, I think that's kind of some deadly foreshadowing here. I don't think they show up. I think this is going to be really, really similar to a couple of years ago when Florida had their entire team opt out, and it was just like Kyle Trask versus the world. I think it's going to be a kind of similar type of game where it's you know Florida at full strength would have won that game. I I don't know. I just don't think that Ohio State's going to have the dogs left on the team to to want to do this and and end up playing this game. It'll probably still end up being close. I don't think that Missouri's going to run away with this thing. But I think they'll be able to kind of get out in front, control it, and win this game, maybe seven to ten points, something like that. It reminds me a little bit more, actually, of the Rose Bowl a couple years ago where Ohio State had a bunch of opt-outs. Mm -hmm. They had the clear talent advantage over Utah, and it was a really fun back-and-forth game, but the talent just won out yeah. um, on the Ohio State side. I think it swings the other way this year, though. There's more opt-outs this year for Ohio State. Mizzou, I think, has more dynamic playmakers that can cause problems than that Utah team did. That Utah team was fantastic. Don't hear what I'm not saying. But um, I think Mizzou, you know, like, who's going to cover Luther Burton? Who's going to stop that ground game? I think Mizzou has too many weapons. I'm going to take them to cover the spread at the very least. I'll take them to win outright as well and put about 15 confidence points on that one. Gracious. Yep. Hey. 